going on my super sandwiches? Ryan Sal here and today we're bringing a very special kind of opening. Today we actually got a package, a special package from none other than Vintage Pokemon Card Heaven aka Limitless Games. Now if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, I actually bought a bunch of stuff from uh, Limitless Games in the past, uh, I want to say about two weeks now. I bought a uh, Shadows of Infinity Yu-Gi-Oh! Booster Box, the first edition one, which I don't plan on opening. It was just a good deal and I, I, I love the gods that, that they had in that set. And I figure it's a good way to add to my little collection of unopened Yu-Gi-Oh! products. I might open it down line, but for now I have no intention of opening it. I also bought the Deoxys and uh, Dragon Frontier packs from them as well. And in the process of me buying that, we were talking and they mentioned, you know what, I'm going to send you some stuff. So here's what we're going to do. If you guys want to actually uh, show some love, you can actually go to Limitless Games website, which I will link their Facebook and their uh, Shop TCG player link in the description below. If you're looking to buy anything in regards to uh, either vintage cards or just in general cards, they're awesome. Good prices. They got some cool vintage stuff as well. And again, you can follow them on Facebook and then check out all the stuff in the description below. So much love to them. But again, we got to open this box. Let's see what's inside here. So I have no idea. Let me actually get in here. I have no idea what I'm going to open on this uh, video. So depending on what's inside this, this might be kind of like a, I'm going to open this uh, later or I might open this right now. So we'll see how it, work, how it goes. I have no idea what's inside this. I just know when I was talking to the, the shop owner, he was like, I'm going to send you some cool stuff. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's see what we got. So I'm actually really, really excited about this. This is going to be a fun one. Here we go. First and foremost, there's a letter. Rhyme Style, thank you for supporting the wonderful store and closing this box. Uh, it's a token of esteem and appreciation. As an avid collector of Pokemon, I also enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering and Dragon Ball Super. I've decided to donate over $500 in product for yourself and your viewers to unveil and enjoy. Here at Limits Games, we host a Dragon Ball CCG Super Tournament every Saturday at 6 p.m. We also host sneak peeks, special events for a Dragon Ball Super card game series. I would love to discuss Dragon Ball Super one day as I have wonderful ideas for the series. I'm a fan of the TV show. My favorite characters are Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Evil Kid Buu, Jiren, and Hit. Thanks a lot, CEO and founder Jason. So again, if you are local in, uh, in the Texas area and you're looking to play cards, go there. Look it up. LimitlessGames.com. Like I said, all the information will be in the description below. So feel free to... Um, We'll go over there because when it comes down to card games, having a place where you can play them locally is like clutch. Unfortunately, I don't get the luxury because there's nothing uh, around me. Oh, wait, there's actually more. Oh, there's the list. Let me not actually look at the list because I'd rather be surprised. Here we go. First one. Ooh, these blister packs? So let's see what we got. So, what's this going to be? Oh my god. Oh my god. So we got the Forbidden Legacy. Uh, so we got three booster packs. So we got Metal Raiders. We got Blue uh, Legend of Blue White Dragon. And we have Spell Ruler. These are the reprints, as you can see, from the Konami set. I believe this is released in the... Um, do I open this? I feel like I shouldn't open this one. I feel like this is released uh, This is released in 2014 when they had the the Legacy Collection. Or was that 2010? In the last couple years, essentially. They're reprints. Um, but I feel like because they're in the blister, it would be kind of cool to keep this sealed forever. Um, next we got... Oh, I see some booster boxes. Lots of booster boxes. Okay, the first one we got... Uh, Oh, Colossal Warfare. I love this set. This is the one that has the, the crazy rare and expensive UI Goku. I'm definitely going to save this for, for the main channel open that, so we'll see how it goes. Next one we got, oh, see something green. What's this, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this? More Dragon Ball Super stuff. We got, oh, that's the, uh, the, 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 the little five card. It's like a uh, starter deck. It's a starter deck, right? Yeah, it's a starter deck featuring, of course, none other than Piccolo himself, which is pretty cool. I might, I might save some of this stuff for giveaways as well. Next we got... Oh, I see something. Ooh, it's wrapped up. It's wrapped up. What's it gonna be? Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Holy crap. Holy crap. I don't think you understand. I have been looking to get more tournament packs from the original series for like the longest. These are so hard to get. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to open these. Oh my gosh, I'm actually like super stoked right now. Next, we got another booster box. We got uh, Cross Worlds, actually over here, which is another Dragon Ball Super set. I'm going to definitely save that for our main channel as well. Next, we got another booster box as well. Oh, we got, uh, oh, this is the newest set, the World Martial Arts Tournament, which actually just started opening on my main channel as well. Put this over here as well. That is insane, dude. Jason, thank you so much. Make sure that, that we got everything. And we're gonna do some openings as well. We're not gonna just like walk away in this video and not have any openings. You guys wanna see some openings? Starting with, we'll save the Unseen Forces later. We'll do that at the end of the video. If you wanna skip ahead, feel free to do so. I'm gonna go ahead and crack open into this uh, this blister set first. All right, so that was actually kind of hard to do, but I got I, I got the cards out. So let's go ahead and set these uh, out of out of the way so we don't get you know super um, everything in the way. So here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and open this order. So I didn't realize that when I was initially opening the set, it said that there's a secret pack here. And this feels to be only one card. 
So we'll go ahead and open that last from these. So let's go ahead and hop into Spell Ruler first. By the way, uh, I got a lot of feedback to move my camera back because it's too close. Unfortunately, because of my setup, this is as good as it can kind of get because this is kind of a cramped space. Uh, my setup is actually designed to open up, uh, well not open up, but to play games on a channel, which is why I started that main channel that where I play Dragon Ball games and stuff like that. It's never really designed for cards, so that's why I never really got a chance to, um, to really have like an actual proper card opening set. But this is as good as it gets, and I might try to figure out how to do it better, but for now, I, I have read the feedback, it just, it's kind of difficult to do this. So here we go, we're going to go into the first one, which is just a spell ruler, commencement dance. I opened a bunch of spell ruler, actually magic ruler content on the channel in the last couple weeks. The rare is Karate Man, and I think, yeah, so this is basically uh, only one rare per pack. So if you get a rare, that's it. You don't, you don't get the luxury of getting a rare and then a hollow foil at the same time. Okay, spell ruler is probably one of my least favorite of all the original sets. Uh, but the ones I love the most are definitely uh, Invasion of Chaos, Metal Raiders, and Legend of Blue Eyes. So, no Invasion of Chaos in this one, but we do have Metal Raiders. So let's see if we can get that Mirror Force. Let's see if we can get that Mirror Force. I have never pulled Mirror Force in my entire life. I've always wanted to. I've had it. I've definitely used it a lot, but I've never actually pulled it. So if I can actually relive that moment, that would be awesome. So let's see what we got. Let's see what kind of goodies we got. Ultra Rare! Ah, it's just a Blade Fly! Dang it! Illusion Illusionist, Faceless Mage. Cybersaurus and finally Pale Beast and Jellyfish. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the LOB pack. This is the one where I actually would love to pull something if it's anything. Uh, you know, part of me wants to keep this, but again, it is just a reprint, so there's really no point in, in keeping it. But I've actually been debating about buying just a box. Uh, unfortunately, getting a box, there's two factors to think about. Number one, there's a lot of fake boxes out there for LOB, which is the scary part. And two, they're really expensive. Even in even in non-first edition box, it's really, really expensive. So it's like, it's kind of a gamble when it comes down to it. Vile Germs. Fire are you, uh, Succubus Knight, and Darkfire Dragon! So we got all regular rares, unfortunately. It is what it is. Again, it's always fun to open these sets because it is a huge blast from the past. Okay, what is this in this mystery pack? It's just one card. I'm actually really, really curious because I have no idea what's inside this. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it. Let's do, let's do it from the back. So I don't um, spoil it. And potentially, you know, don't damage it either. I like how it's just like a mystery, like, foil and everything. You, don't, you you have no idea what's inside this. Okay, what's it gonna be? Oh my gosh, that is a... What, what kind of Dark Magician is that? Okay, so it's a Forbidden Legacy Dark Magician. Cool, that's awesome. I love Dark Magician. He's, he's up there right next to me, uh, right next to, like, as far as blue eyes and stuff I got from, like, the original. So that's actually really, really cool to pull. Definitely gonna go ahead and send this to get grayed up. It's not as valuable as the other ones. But uh, again, due to the nature of it being uh, one of my favorite monsters, I'm definitely going to get that sent over and see what happens. Okay, let's get into, we'll save this part last. Let's get into uh, the, unforeseen, the Unseen Forces. Uh, let's get into these tournament packs. So from what, I, from what I'm looking at, I have the list pulled up next to me. Uh, looks like Toon Cannon Soldier is the Ultra Rare of the set. And then we got Toon Table of Contents, Fusion Sage, Royal Decree, and Restructure Revolution as far as the Super Rare. So let's see what we got. Again, I absolutely love these tournament pack cards and right off the bat we got a hollow and freeze future rhyme saw here so i just got done editing the video i cleaned up all the mess and i actually started looking up the cards turns out this is the most expensive card in the tp6 set i had no clue i actually figured the toon can soldier was on top followed by whatever else is next to it but turns out toon table of contents is up there well technically i guess toon cannon soldier and toon table of contents is about the same value according to troll and toad they're selling both cards for about 67 65 bucks somewhere in that neighborhood and ebay is selling each of these for about 70 ish in that neighborhood so about the same value but still that's pretty badass that's awesome on top of that on top of that really good centering this is easily going to be a 10 Fingers crossed. So keep an eye out for that. Whenever I get this card graded, I'm going to have an opening at some point in the near future, or I guess a graded reveal video. So keep an eye out for that. But other than that, let's get back into the video. Toon Table of Contents. Look at that. Look at that. That's wild. Well, that's wild. When does when is Turn Back 6 come out? Sleeping Lion and then Ryu Senshi is the last one. I'm not sure if every pack is guaranteed a rare, because I know there were some tournament packs where they actually had that case. So I'll have to double check that. In fact, if you know anything about that in the comment section below, feel free to let me know. But that's cool if it's not. If it's not, we, we got a haul already, which is awesome. Let's get into the next one. Uh, no, it does not. It does not guarantee it because look at that. Look at that. So this means that there will be no other hollows or hits in this pack, right? Is that how this works? Because they're not like, going to be all over. Yeah, they're not. So the fact that I got a hollow off, off of like this many packs is already a win to me, if you ask me. All right, next one. Once again, Jason, thank you so much. This is so awesome. All the information for Limitless Games will be in the description below. Trust me. They're a super trusted site. I've been buying from them. Uh, we got another one. Actually, is that a... No, it's not. It's just a regular uh, common, right? Yeah, it's just a regular common. Emergency provisions. 
Neko got number one, and then last turn. And finally, the final pack we got right here, turn pack six. Let's see if we can walk away with that Toon Cannon Soldier. Let's do it backwards, actually. We don't want to spoil it, you know? You know? We don't want to spoil it. So let's see what we got. Slide this out slowly. Put it to the back. Whatever this is. Okay. Archfiend Marmot of Nefariousness. Uh, Dark Ball to the Terrible. And Fiend School Dragon, just a regular combo. But hey, you know what? This is a success. Because we walked away with two table of contents, which is actually awesome. So let me put that over here so I can get this sleeved up afterwards. Because my sleeves are actually not next to me right now. I thought they were supposed to be, but they're not. Okay, there we go. Deep breath. Unseen Forces. Uh, so this is a set that I believe has... Uh, Unseen Forces is the one that has uh, the, the three legendary beasts. If you guys know the drama that happened with the legendary beasts, apparently when, when the set came out... Somebody, I don't know if they like stole it or they bootlegged it or what, but somebody got like thousands of copies of, of Raiko, Suicune, and Entei. And they just basically uh, kind of like killed the market for the beast. I have all the beasts actually. Uh, actually, I have it as PSA 10s. Unfortunately, because of that uh, nature, when that happened, uh, it caused the value to go down. So I, th I still think it's cool. If you walk away with the gold star, that's definitely a win. But uh, I do want to kind of toss that shit out story because I actually found out about that story a couple weeks ago. That is a cool looking Larvitar. We got Eevee. Cyndaquil, Sunkern, the reverses after this, Hoot Hoot. Ooh, that's a cool looking Chansey. That's a rare. And then the hit is, ah, it's a Tyrog, but that's awesome. Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> and then of course we got Curse Powder, followed by Boost Energy and yet. So that was actually awesome. Again, much love to uh, Jason and Limitless Games. Again, if you want to check out everything. You know what, how about, how about we do this? That's, that's, that's also funnier. Since you go, went ahead and watched this video, I'm gonna go ahead and give out this uh, this Guardian of the Mechans deck. So as, uh, this is what you gotta do. As long as you leave a comment, and of course like the video and all that good stuff, uh, some kind of interaction. I'm gonna wait a couple of days for the video to air and give everybody kind of a chance to watch the video. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm gonna go through the random common picker thing and I'll pick out somebody to uh, send this box to. So again, all you gotta do is interact with the videos uh, and I'll pick one random winner. I will. I will pin your comment, I will like it, I will reply to it so you get as many notifications as possible. And then if I get your information or to ship it to, this is going to be all yours. Uh, and of course, keep an eye out for uh, more pack openings on the main channel uh, with the Drama Super stuff. Again, if you're looking for local places to play cards, Limitless Games is your place to go if you live in the Texas area. Uh, but other than that, if you want to just buy cards, go over there. Much love to Jason and, and everybody at Limitless Games. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed today. My name is Ramstyle. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.